So today I'm going to talk about how we upload the images that we've just scanned to Cybers. And this allows us to then analyze the images through the image analysis pipeline. And so I'm just going to start with what it might look like at the end of the day. So we have uh, an example here for February 13th showing the orange and crimson scanners and the images we've collected. So what I first want to do is show you what Cyverse looks like. So Cyverse is this discovery environment online where we store the images. You can see all of these different folders that I've uploaded here. So what we first want to do, and this is something that you can do before you clean up or before uh, you can upload them, you have to first copy the window, excuse me, copy the images from where they are on the computer to where we're going to upload them from. So this is basically just going into the documents, seed scanner, seed images, and then the folder, my folder here, and we can see the images within here that we're going to copy over to a new location so that we can upload all the files in that folder because right now they're broken out by these different folders. So what I'll do, I've got two terminal windows open here. One to the folder that we're going to copy the images from each scanner from. And then I'm going to navigate documents upload to my upload folder, and you can see we have two other examples here. So I'll create a new folder, and just to show you, inside of here we're scanning 19KA. So I'll name this 19KA, and then 02132021. Okay, and I'll open this folder. And what we want to see in here is just a big list of image files. So we've, we're going to copy each one over. And you can do this by clicking at the bottom, holding shift, and clicking at the top. Or what I like to do is just click into the window for the scanner. And we're going to go one by one here. So I'm going to hold con the control button with my pinky, my left hand, and then hit A. And that's going to select all. And then you can either right click and hit copy or you can use the command control C. So I'll show you again, I just hit control A, and then while still holding down that control button, I'm hitting C. Then I click over to this window, you can see the colors change, so we're now selecting this folder, and it's empty, and I'm gonna hit uh, control V, so again, holding down control and pressing V, and it will start pasting all of these images in and so we're copying 21 files to this folder, and it says it's going to take a minute. But what we're going to do is just load all of these up in the queue. So I'm going to click in to blue, control A, control C, control V. And I'm just going to go one by one through all of the folders. And copy them over. And something that's helpful since we have uh, the name of each scanner as the first image captured, that's our test image that we do at the beginning of the day, we should be able to see all of those names show up. And this is a pretty intensive process for the computer, so you can see that now the time is closer to 30 minutes to do this transfer. So. This is definitely something you want to do before you start cleaning up. So go ahead and get these all queued up. And if you know this was a regular work day, I would then go start sweeping up seeds, vacuuming, uh, cleaning the floor, clean the vacuum, empty it, clean the filters, get it back on the charger. And I don't know how long that typically takes you, but hopefully it will be close to the time needed. So. Once these are done, this will be completely full, this wheel here. So I'm going to show you with another example uh, how to upload them. So we have 
imagine this is the folder where we've copied all the files, we have them all in here, and we can hit Control A, and we can see I have 111 items selected. And so if I go back to this, this day here, uh, if you add all of these up, they should equal the number of files that you have over here. It's a little bit easier when we have even numbers and it's a little worrisome when we don't have the correct number here, uh, but there's various reasons why that might not work, uh, but we should have the same amount if we're doing even runs on each side. So that's a little bit of an aside, but just something visually to check. So uh, I'm just gonna assume that we've got all the images here just for the sake of this video and then go back and figure out why we might not have everything that we should have uh, once we're done. So, again, we're in the upload folder. I've got all the files ready to upload. I've copied them over from uh, the scan images and the seed scanner. So I just like to go to a new window to do this part of the process. And what I'm gonna be doing is uploading that whole folder to Cybers here and we'll see it uh, show up in that window. So what we first need to do is we need to tell Cybers where we want to put the images and I've just got this saved on the desktop so you can come over here, copy this, and paste it in and run it. You don't have to do this next step here but I'm just going to show you uh, real quick once this is done. If I type ILS it's going to list those that directory in Cybers. And so we should see all of these folders stacked inside of the one that we just changed the directory to. So we've got recognize some of these names here. We'll go back over here. So that's where we are. We're looking into this folder and we're seeing all of these folders we've uploaded. And that's where we want to be. So the next command is we need to tell the computer where we're going to upload from. So we need to navigate to the folder we want to upload from. So I'll just paste that command in. Again, I'll just show you this. As an example, we have those folders. So the example we're doing now is this one here. So we'll copy that, paste it in here, and then go to the front. There, you can do this different ways, but we want to replace this folder name here. So if we just copied this whole command and we paste it in here, we can just delete back the folder name. And now what this is going to do is going to use the I commands. It's going to say, take this folder and put it where we've told in Cyverse to put it. And so when I hit enter, it should start running here. And this is something that you can do and then walk away from. So this will take, depending on the number of images, it'll tell you how many megabytes per uh, second it's writing uh, to upload all of these. And each image is about half a gig. So once it gets going here, I can show you that, but uh, we can leave this up here so that whenever you're ready to upload, you can just come to this. I'm clicking over on activities here, this desktop. So that's kind of the workflow here. You'd go in, copy the images out of each folder over here. You can see that's still working for the 12. for the 13th, excuse me, we just are uploading the 12th. We got all the images here, so we did that. And once you have that done, you can come and you can run this series of commands to start uploading uh, the files to Cybers. We can go back to Cybers and refresh this and hopefully it's already created the folder. Yep, there it is right there. So. If we click into this folder, eventually we'll see the images start to populate. But that's 
yep, it's starting to write them in now. So that's the process. Once you run this, you can leave, but you have to wait until you have all of the images copied over before you can upload them. That's the most important part of this. So do this, like I said, before you start cleaning up or something like that. Uh, make sure you make time for this at the end of the day so that you can copy them over into the upload location. And then I'll show you, you know, once you know that this is running properly, which it is, we're writing about five megabytes per second for that image. The last thing you're going to do is whichever folder you just uploaded, for our example, uh, we're working on the 13th, we used the 12th, we're gonna copy this folder we're going to go to the external hard drive connected, and then in 19KA, this is the, the first day that we have, we're going to paste this in. And that's going to slow things down even more, because there's a lot of files to move. So that's also something you can do at the end of the day, and uh, walk away. You see it's going to take about an hour. So that's the last step, is to back up the upload folder.